Hey everybody, it's the Rogue Scholar USMC here to share with you a little project that I came across and what I'm going to do to make it a better firearm. Uh, I originally was looking for a scope for my Air 15 that was lightweight as I was going to be running a 45 degree red dot off the side of it for a uh, short target acquisition and also have readily available a scope for longer range application. Uh, upon searching for a scope, I found the whole platform at Barmart for 336 and it also came with a $50 rebate so that brought the whole price of the package down to roughly $287. Scope alone is $85 so I thought what the heck might as well kill two birds with one stone. Upon looking at the firearm the one thing I did recognize about the uh, Access 2 is that it came with the AccuTrigger. The regular Access of course does not and I figured I could either A buy that model for the same price and have to dork around with the spring to get it to be the weight that I wanted or get the AccuTrigger which of course is adjustable. So I decided on the platform upon review of it I did notice uh, one of the major weak points is going to be the stock itself. And I say that because, yeah, it's flimsy, looks like Tupperware, I don't like it. But for the price point, I figured, what the heck. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to take it apart in a minute and show you how I'm going to change it. And uh, little changes I'm going to eventually make to it to make it a good survival firearm. Uh, this, again, is chambered in 243, so it'll make a nice... Good flat trajectory round out to maybe 700 yards or farther if I get a different scope, which I will because this one's going on my AR. Uh, so hang tight as I break this apart and we will show you the inside and how I'm going to make my changes. Hold tight. Okay, as you can see, I got it all taken apart. No need for me to go into great detail on how to remove an Allen screw. That's pretty much common sense. Anyway, the area of concern that I want to address is the stability of the stock itself. And with that, we can see the inside, which I'm sure you already know is hollow. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pour a product called Rockite, which is something you can get at Home Depot or Lowe's or wherever else you might be able to find it. And I want to pour it in here, uh, making sure it doesn't make contact with the barrel because I want that to be free floated. Following that, I might just cap it off or top it off with a little bit of JB Weld uh, for my bedding. Uh, and then sanding it smooth, making sure I can get a, oh, I don't know, a $100 bill. Why did I say 100 Why not a dollar? Anyway, a $100 bill uh, between the barrel and the stock. Following that, uh, I'm going to address the pillar areas the same way, making sure there's really excellent contact between the action and the stock for accuracy. And in conclusion, what I want to deal with is this cheap chintzy stock back here that's hollow and I don't like it. I also want to put a cheek rest up here uh, for good cheek weld. Um, and considering this is hollow, what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill it with sand. Now all my rifles I like to be a little bit heavier and the reason why is it tends to increase accuracy and uh, affect the recoil and just give the rifle better harmonics if you will. Uh, so on the inside of here I'm going to fill it with sand. I'm also going to put a hollow cavity on the inside. And inside that hollow cavity the most important thing anybody should have is a fire source. And these down here is a little magnesium little doohickey that unscrews. Maybe you've seen it, maybe you haven't. But this little striker thing, I can't do it because I have a camera in my hand. But it just strikes it and it produces a nice little flame similar to a match. Uh, it can run for over 50,000 strikes and it's waterproof. You see that little, oh, a little rubber gasket on there, a little ring. In addition to that, I'm going to add some cotton balls with some Vaseline. Uh, and the reason why is within your loss, the most important thing you need is fire. Fire is good for cooking food, it's good for warmth, it's good for light, it's good for keeping critters away at night. Uh, it's also good for signaling um, if put up in groups of three. The other item I'm considering putting inside is maybe a knife. You never know when that could come in handy. Uh, but in conclusion, I think the one most important thing I want to add to it are two or three extra rounds. 
Uh, you never know, you could run out of ammo and could need it to kill a game so you can eat and survive. So that's most important to me. Anyway, so in the next video what I'm going to do is take the rifle out. I'm going to show you how I break in the rifle my way. Of course there are many ways. This is what's effective for me considering it's a factory barrel. And after that we're going to go through the process after I get the target to do the before and after shots of bedding it. And also I might get a little carried away and make it look all Johnny Go Fast and paint it and make it look all Rambo or whatever. Actually it's not a very bad idea anyway. So anyway, with that in mind, have a great day. And uh, if you're out at the range, I hope all your shots end up in the black. Until next time, take it easy.